I've been doing it now for probably about six weeks and first time I swam to the pool was just like a metaphor for life, you know, it was like, it just, it just felt like, you know, you set a goal, but it's something that you don't think is very achievable, but then it is, you know, it's, um, and then every time I come out, I just feel like my swimming is getting better. I, I couldn't have swum like the full distance the first time. Um, and now I'm capable of doing that. So yeah, it's just feels so good. Those poles became the, that we're going to do this and then we're going to and then seeing people and like Julie and our team like she'd come and then she wouldn't come for a week or two. Now she's there every day and she's yeah. the one leading out the swimming and um, you know even Danielle who's just joined the group she went out to the pole today. I couldn't be prouder yeah, and Sandra yeah. the other day went out to the pole and Chris who thought she couldn't and I've always been about if we can, if you stay with people, you make sure they've got water confidence. And, you know, we've been on this journey to train as the salty bitches, which has taken, you know, we'll say to people, we're doing a big swim, we're doing a training swim, but always making sure people have got someone with them so that they feel, I don't know whether it's just women or whether men wouldn't say it, women feel better about doing stuff when they've got a collective. Yeah. That's what I've seen. Oh, the pole's significant, I think, for all of us, and that's one thing that I really like with the Salty Bitches as well, is that celebrating those sort of moments of people achieving new new targets or achieving new things, and everyone's just so encouraging yeah. um, when, when, when that happens. So it's a, it's a really refreshing uh, group to be involved with and uh, really inspirational. So, yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, today's quite significant for me. Today's 10 swims in a row, um, which is amazing because I didn't think I'd ever make it past the first swim. Um, when I first got out here, I, I went out, I, I went out with my kickboard um, and dog paddled <laughs> out, out to the pole uh, and now I'm, now I'm swimming confidently and um, just loving every minute of it, every minute of it. And um, on top of that, today was um, my um, what do you say maiden jump off the off the pier. So um, egged on and supported with um, all my fellow friends, we did this massive jump. Ah, it was awesome. <laughs> Women come back from maternity leave or having kids. They might have been in high flying positions, but they'd lost their confidence of how to get back into the workforce yeah. and how to. How, like, oh, how do I do this and how do I manage the kids and I don't think my brains, you know, they, they, they'd lost, it doesn't matter what level, whether they were an admin assistant or a CFO or at CEO level, they'd still question themselves, even though, and there's an old adage that men think they can do any position and they may only have 20% of the skills but they'll make up 80% of the rest. Women spend the time looking at what they don't have the 20% of what they don't have, rather than the 80% of what they do have for the position yeah. to bring along. And I think that travels through life about that confidence to just do things, whether it's body confidence, whether it's confidence of getting in the water because they're scared of the bottom. I think it all relates back to things in life.